one thing i kind of really want to ask you is about the time before you chose biomedical engineering and we've spoken a little bit about <laughs> it where i know you considered i know you there's a great story there where i think you went to a career counselor yeah tell yeah. us about that story yeah 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 actually it's a little bit weird because i was about to study commerce in 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 12th grade uh, you could choose either between science or commerce i was about to study commerce but i really liked my 10th uh, standard physics teacher he was like a superstar and i, I thought okay I, let me go and study physics i started studying um, uh, science i chose that i was pretty good at school uh, so but i wasn't very sure whether i should pursue science as a career or what after immediately after finishing my exams uh, i went to uh, a psychologist i'm i'm gonna i want to pursue something else but i'm not sure which one, which one? yeah which one the first she was like okay well uh, let's let's take you to a career uh, counselor so <clears throat> i spoke to her and then i had a test i, I think it was like a 2 or 3 hour written test that's long huh yeah yeah so um, it was like um, <clears throat> an olympiad exam or something like that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i asked her should i prepare for it <laughs> she actually she told me you shouldn't prepare for it <laughs> just to naturally figure out what you're good at <laughs> then uh, i took the test after two or three days uh, she call, she invited me and my father uh we were in a room and then she told me like what do you want to do i just had my 12th exam results coming out uh, i scored uh, really um, good so i had more than 95 percentage then i was like okay maybe uh, i'm ready for engineering right now and then she said okay buddy i have a news for you hmm. uh, your career your career guidance results the test results show that yeah you are exceptionally good at science uh no you're good at science but <laughs> you're not exceptionally good at it you are exceptionally good at something else so maybe you should try something like mass communication or business administration and then you went to ssn to do biomedical <laughs> engineering so tell like what is tell us what happens in that gap so yeah. how do you process this information and so i i listened to her and i i i felt it was the right choice as well i told my parents okay this is what i want to do in my life and uh, fortunately they had a um, they had a course in loyola something with uh, communication i think it was visual communication visual communication visual communication or something like that and then i i was also interested in political science so uh, so i i had an admit um, at loyola for visual communication and then political science at madras christian college how did ssn eventually win uh, how did ssn eventually win it was simple uh, the society around me told me that you are stupid to choose something like viscom or something Uh, because kids who score yeah. low, uh, less grades choose it you are really smart you should choose yeah, a smart i can, i understand that cuz i actually was in chennai till the 12th grade and for someone who gets 95% yeah um an ssn is probably the most safe and the most uh, yeah therefore it was like okay i did not have to fight the society um i was like okay let me just go and do that so i Yeah, I pursued it for four years. Uh, uh, I graduated my bachelor's in biomedical. Did you enjoy it? I did everything other than biomedical. <laughs> <laughs> so I, so I was, I was, I was programming all the time. I was building electronics. My master thesis was also on signal processing, uh, electronics, uh, and programming. This is sorry, my bachelor thesis was uh, on that. so i was very bad at biochemistry or anything related to bio i was very bad at it uh, but my girlfriend used to help me back like my my current wife my girlfriend back then she used to help me back then so i used to pass those courses but i compensated um, uh, <laughs> the grades with my ability in programming or something so you had the sort of fork in the road and you went against what you wanted to do and sort of went ahead with what society asked you to do yeah but it has eventually worked out for you So how do you like reflect on that would you go back and change things would you do what you wanted to do what you were good at or you know has following the society's or you know society's path uh do you see that as something that was favorable and that that was the right decision the truth is we wouldn't know what i would have achieved hmm. if i would have pursued my uh, innate nature innate strengths so we couldn't dispute that for sure but one thing i can tell you for sure is that uh right now 
uh, I'm not an effective communicator. I was much, I was a very good communicator. In uh, school? In school, as well as in college. Yeah, in SSN, I was really, really good at it. But once you pursue, um, some, once you distance yourself from your own innate strengths, and once you try to force yourself into something else, probably something could work. Fortunately, in my case, yes, something else worked out for me. Uh, but right now, I'm not a confident speaker. I'm, yeah, I, I have, I think I have lost all the core abilities which I was born with probably. <laughs> Or uh, some, yeah. If you could go back in time, this version of you is speaking to like 18 year old Vignesh. What are two lines that you would tell him? I would definitely say the, decide for yourself. Hmm. Yeah. Listen to others, respect others, but you have to be your own uh, right. decision maker.